Joining us now is retired Royal Marine Commando Cassidy Little, who spent two months serving with Sergeant Blackman in Afghanistan. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Thank you for coming in and to talking to us about this. So you served alongside him. He knew the man. You know something of what he's been through since. What were your emotions yesterday when that sentence got reduced to manslaughter? I mean, it's, it's the best case scenario concerning mm. the circumstances. I mean, it's not often your toast lands butter up, right? Yeah. And that's kind of what's happened here is that, you know, they've had a look at the evidence, especially the new stuff, and kind of taken a different angle on what, which is his mental health at the time. And because of that, now they're actually giving out a much more appropriate sentence, or not sentence, sorry, conviction. The sentence is in a couple of weeks, mm. obviously. Yeah. So I'm overjoyed. Overjoyed. You, uh, when, when he was originally found, guilty of murder. Cassidy, you served alongside him. You, you are a Royal Marine through and through. Uh, how did you feel about the fact that that sentence had been passed down? Well, yeah, I think you have to remember that in the beginning, nobody really knew much of the details of what had happened. So I think in the beginning, it was very kind of like, oh, we had a wash over. I mean, come on, what, what else are we there to do if not to take out the enemy? Mm. You know, and I know that's a harsh reality of the situation, but that is what the government has trained us to do. This isn't like walking to a, a you know, the shopping center mm. or going to your local tube station. Mm. All right, this isn't like working at a, a, a shop down the road. Mm. You know, we're in an environment where y y your step, you can't even trust where you're stepping. Mm. I mean, the only thing you have is the trust of the men beside you. You can't even trust you know, what you're drinking, you can't mm. trust the water, you can't trust the air, you can't trust anything. And that has a play on somebody's mind. I mean... You've had your own injuries, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I left a foot behind, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I had wicked bad athlete's foot, so it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry See, about it. See, this is the extraordinary thing about, I think, you service men and women. You, you are so incredibly brave and you deal with it so well that it's, I think it's a shock when someone is affected as he obviously was. And in fact, your injury was one of those things that they believe may have affected him. <coughs> the, the day of my injury, two um, incredible human beings, three human beings, but two that I knew very, very well, um, died. Um, yeah. And it was, I think it was a big shock. It was a pretty, it was a pretty carnage-filled day. Mm. Mm. And, and I know that Al was very, very, very close to the boss that died that day. Yeah. And, and even to Sam, to be honest with you, I know that they served well because they served together for, for quite some time. And Sam was very, very well respected. He had a, he had a military cross. Mm. He's, his death affected everybody sure. and, of course, would. Affect, of course, there's, I mean, there's things like survivor's guilt. I mean, mm. Al was back at the CP and could do nothing mm. as, as, you know, all of us were blown up and three people died. Mm. It's, it's a brutal reality, as you're, as you're uh, illustrating perfectly for us, Cassidy. What's your hope now, now that we're going, we know the sentence is going to happen shortly and we'll find out what the new sentence will be, but would you ideally like to see him released now, having served the three years, that, that would be enough? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm just going to come right out and say it, yes. Um, this is, th th there's a plan in place. If this happens, then that happens. If that happens, then that happens. And I think the first step was to have the conviction switched over to manslaughter. I think the whole nation needs to forget the word murder now. Mm. Murder's gone, all right? Let's, let's call it manslaughter. It's diminished mm. responsibility. Now, we're going to look at how much time he spent, how much time would be left, you know, in a fair world. But, I mean, this is civilian law. This is a military situation. I'm no lawyer. I'm not educated mm. enough to be a lawyer. But... I think it's time we bring him home. Mm. You know, he's served, he's done a lot for this country, right? He's mm. done, you know, he's done tours all across the world. He's donated his life to, well, so we can have things like this TV program. Yeah. You know, I yeah. think it's time we say, all right, thanks, pal, you've done some time. You, what you did was a mistake, what you did was wrong, yes, but now that we have the ability to, let's reduce that sentence. Okay. Cassidy, Fantastic. thanks for joining us this morning. Good to see you. Thank you. you too. Thank, Thank you, guys. Uh, Cassidy Little there, who's a former Royal Marine Commander who served with Sergeant Blackman in Afghanistan.